we shall commence this module by studying about valuation of debenture but first of all we should know meaning of debenture a debenture is an instrument acknowledging a debt issued under the common seal of the company and is a contract for the repayment of the principal sum at a specified date and for the payment of interest at a specified rate percent till the time the principal sum is repaid under section 2 subsection 12 of the companies act 1956 debenture have been defined as debenture includes debenture stock bond and any other securities of the company whether constituting a charge on the company's assets or not now we are going to see the features of debentures a debenture is a document or certificate which acknowledges the debt of the company it is a mode and period of repayment of principal where interest is fixed third feature important feature is that debenture is considered as an external equity or long term borrowing after studying this module we shall be able to learn first about the meaning and feature of debenture secondly types of debentures thirdly understand the issue process of debentures and finally the modes of valuation of debentures and bonds and their comparative evaluation we have seen the meaning of debenture so we are moving on to the types of debentures debentures can be classified first on the basis of securities second on the basis of redemption third on the basis of records fourthly on the basis of coupon rate and last on the basis of convertibility we start with when the debentures are classified on the basis of security here the debentures can be classified into two categories that is mortgage or secured debentures and second is unsecured debentures the mortgage or secured debentures are secured either by fixed charge or a floating charge on the assets of the company a regular mortgage deed or trust deed is entered into the company and the debenture holder the unsecured debentures are not secured by fixed charge and they are known as unsecured debentures debentures can be classified on the basis of redemption here there are two types of debentures redeemable debentures and irredeemable debentures redeemable debentures are those which are repaid by the company at the end of the period or at a specified period in lump sum or an installment as called redeemable debentures then we have the second type that is irredeemable debentures those debentures which are not repayable during the lifetime of the company they are known as irredeemable debentures debentures can be classified on the basis of coupon rate there are two types of debentures specified coupon rate and zero coupon rate the specified coupon rates debentures are issued with a specified date of interest which is called coupon rate the rate may be fixed or floating different debentures have different rates of interest the second type of debentures are zero coupon rate these debentures do not carry a specific rate of interest in order to compensate the investors such as debentures are issued at a substantial discount debentures can be classified on the basis of records we have registered debentures and bearer debentures debentures in respect of which the names addresses and particulars of debenture holders are kept in a register of the company are called registered debentures debentures which do not have any records in the books of the company or we can say the debentures have no sayings in the company are called bearer debentures 
payment of the interest is made on the production of coupon attached to the debentures. Debentures can be classified on the basis of convertibility. Here we have two types of debentures, convertible debentures, non-convertible debentures. When the debentures can be converted into shares, it is called convertible debentures. And when the debentures do not have any option to be converted into shares are known as non-convertible shares. Debentures which have the option of exchanging the whole or part of the amount of their debenture for shares after a specified time period are called convertible debentures. Whereas those debentures which have no option of converting the value of debentures into equity shares is called non-convertible debentures. Now we have to see the process of issue of debentures. The process of issue of debentures is similar to equity shares like issue of prospectus, then application of debentures in a prescribed form is invited, then bankers are appointed, then other formalities are done. Debentures may be issued at par, premium or at discount. Money payable on debentures may be paid in full with application money or may be paid in installments. Now when amount payable in installment, say we have the debentures of rupees 10 and the amounts are paid in installment, then we have to pass the entries like in this manner. First of all, on receipt of application we, we write bank account debit to debenture application account. When we make allotment, we make the entry debenture allotment account debit to debenture account. Then at the time of redeeming the debentures, we have different sources for the redemption of debentures. A company can raise funds for redeeming debentures by issuing new shares or debentures or may sell assets to meet the liability. A company is free to adopt any of the following method to redeem the debentures. We start with raising fresh capital. New shares or debentures are issued to dispose of the existing debentures. Secondly, utilize the profits. A part of the profit of the company may be retained from distributable profits to make payments or redeem existing debentures. Thirdly, sale of assets. A company also utilizes the sale proceeds of fixed assets for redemption of debentures. Fourthly, using surplus funds. Apart from the above methods, a company may also use its surplus funds for the redemption of debentures. We have different methods for the redemption of debentures. Debentures can be redeemed by any of the under mentioned method. On maturity in lump sum, by installment by draw of lots, thirdly by purchase in the open market and fourthly by conversion. We have to make debenture redemption reserve to redeem the debentures. Debenture redemption reserve can be defined as a reserve representing Retention of profits made for the purpose of redeeming debentures. The companies compulsorily have to make this debenture redemption reserve account. It is retained out of profits for the purpose of redeeming debentures before the debentures are redeemed. Now we are going to discuss about the bonds. Bonds are just like debentures as bond is an acknowledgement of debt issued under the common seal of a company and signed by an authorized signatory. In earlier days the expression bond was used for the debt instrument issued by the government. But nowadays the term is used by all. For example, bonds could be like deep discount bond, zero coupon bond, etc. Now we move on to valuation of bonds and debentures. 
basically the value of bond is the present value of all the future interest payment and maturity value discounted at the required return on bond commensurate with the prevailing interest rates and risk we can show this by formula that is bond value is equal to interest for the first year divided by 1 plus r whole square of the first year plus interest for the second year divided by 1 plus r whole square and so on in this formula interest is for 1 to nth period unless otherwise mentioned the maturity value of the bond is the face value we have different situations to value the bonds or debentures the very first is when the required rate of return is equal to the coupon rate the bond value becomes equal to the par value secondly when the required rate of return is more than the coupon rate the bond value will be less than its par value the bond in this case is said to be sold at discount thirdly when the required rate of return is less than the coupon rate the bond value will be more than its par value and here the bond would be sold at premium we have different methods of valuing bonds and debentures this can be categorized as per two ways first convertible secondly non convertible valuation of bonds with the maturity period when a bond or debenture has reached maturity its value can be determined by considering annual interest payment plus its terminal or maturity value and this is done using the present value concept to discount the cash flows and the result will be compared the market value of the bond to ascertain whether it is overvalued or undervalued then we have valuation of convertible bonds and debentures this type of bonds or debentures has a maturity of greater than 10 years and holder has an option to convert it into equity shares to compensate for having value through the option to convert the bonds into shares a convertible bond has a coupon rate lower than that of similar non convertible debt the key benefit of raising money by selling convertible bond is a reduced interest payment the advantage for companies issuing convertible bond is that if the bond is converted into stock company's debt vanishes however in exchange of the benefit of reduced interest payment the value of shareholders equity is reduced due to stock dilution which is expected when bond holders convert their bonds into new shares an option price to value a convertible bond is price convertible bond is equal to price straight bond plus price stock call option minus price bond call option plus price bond put option now we are going to make a summary of what we have discussed so far we have discussed the meaning of debenture that is given by section 2 sub section 12 of companies act 1956 debenture is an acknowledgement that carries the right to receive interest along with principal amount at the maturity of a predetermined period it includes stock bond and any other securities of the company whether constituting a charge on the company's assets or not issue of debenture is beneficial for the company because when the company is in its infancy stage it doesn't have to pay dividend on the equity shares it has to only pay interest to the debenture holders at a fixed rate when the company reaches at its flourishing age it can convert the debentures into equity shares so by issuing debentures 
company has both the benefits of debt as well as owned capital benefit. Debenture is a document or certificate which acknowledges the debt of a company. It is a mode and period of repayment of principal and interest is fixed in the debenture. Debenture is considered as external equity or long term borrowing. The process of issuing debenture is that of similar of equity shares. Here also the companies issue first of all prospectors, invite the holders or the public to subscribe debentures. Debentures can be paid in full and can be subscribed in installments. Then the value of bond is the present value of all the future interest payments and maturity value discounted at the required return on board commensurate with the prevailing interest and risk and rate. The process of issue of debenture is similar to equity shares as we have discussed just now. Then the companies have to redeem the debentures after the expiry of a certain period. The companies have to maintain debenture redemption reserve. The companies have two options for this. Either they convert the debentures into equity shares or maintain certain part portion of the profit towards creation of debenture redemption reserve. Debenture redemption reserve is a part of retained profits for the purpose of redeeming the debentures before the debentures are redeemed. Debentures are a reliable source for the initial period of the growth of the company. The companies can have the benefit of bonds as well as fixed rate of interest. Debenture holders do not carry voting right. They cannot participate in the management. So the control of the company cannot be diluted by the debenture holders. They are only concerned about the interest they are getting from the company. So in this way, the company is also assured of fixed in amount of finance as well as it doesn't have to face much hassle of the interest of the debenture holders. They cannot interfere in the day to day functioning of the company. Thus debentures are a advantageous source of finance for the companies.